It is definitely overrated. I was reading an article about something called being sober curious and, um, or like flexitarian, these, these kind of neologisms that basically say, I'm not this, but want to be, is very frustrating to me. I think if you're a freegan, you're not vegan. And that's okay, you're not vegan. People need to brand every experience. And freeganism is an old term. I mean, they've been using that since, you know, the Norman Conquest or whatever, but I feel like, I don't know. I, I think let's, let's move on from it. I think it's very, very overrated. Veganism is great. Freeganism is just dumpster diving. Those are underrated. A person that can pull off a cowboy hat is, is really someone with some confidence. I mean, people that work around horses, children on Halloween, uh, ranchers, politicians trying to keep it real. It takes a certain kind of, I don't know, just stature. And I'm talking about sort of an internal kind of backbone to pull off a cowboy hat. When I think they're underrated is the people that actually just, you don't think that they're gonna be in a cowboy hat and then they show up in one. That's a big move. That's a big move. You show up to a, a funeral or a job interview in a cowboy hat and you know what? That's, that's a big day for you and, and you're not gonna get that job. Overrated. I, it's not that I'm against crowd surfing, but I've done it. I, okay, the first time I crowd surfed, I was at a concert called End Fest in Seattle. And the lineup was Pearl Jam, L7. And when L7 started, I was like, that's it, I'm getting up. And uh, first of all, it's a little humbling. You have to ask someone, hey, would anyone like to lift me up right now? I'm not a child, I'm not three. I'm an adult asking for somebody to like hoist me. That just takes a little humility. And, um, and then it's just like people figuring out, who, are you gonna do it, are you gonna do it? Fine, you know, and then someone like reaches down. You step with a foot that's been on like a grassy field, probably covered in manure or urine. They're touching that, you know, shoe with bare hand. They lift you up. And then it's basically you just kicking and pummeling people all over their face and body for 0.5 seconds then you fall to the ground and, and you try to get up again. Um, looks really cool in, in footage and stuff, and if you're you know, looking down on a crowd, you see someone crowd surfing, it looks exciting, but trust me that everyone that's passing your body around is really mad at you in that moment. Those are really overrated. Get your hand down there in a plastic bag and pick it up yourself. Owning an animal is a, a responsibility and it's also, it's a job. I mean, it's, it's, well, for most people it's not a full-time job, but it's at least, it's a fun job. I'm not saying picking up poop is fun for me, but I think a pooper scooper, someone is making a lot of money over something that could just easily be done with a hand in a, in a bag. I mean, they're actually underrated. They're fun to buy, they're fun to use, they're, they're communal. I mean, don't share them, but you can, you can do the mask with your friends. And they, they kind of feel good. I don't know if they're doing anything, but you know, it's fun to scare your dog by putting that on your face. And you, you just, you can't put a price on that. Oat milk is overrated for sure, but I love it. It's having a moment. The moment feels too big considering it's just an oat. We were eating oatmeal for years. No one cared. Sure, it's good to lower your cholesterol, but no one was like making a big deal about it. Like no one was like pouring oatmeal into coffee and like calling it a new invention. And it's everywhere. I ordered an oat milk cappuccino the other day and they're like, oh, an oat cap? The oat people are, the, lo the oat milk lobby is so mad right now. But it's true. Oat milk is overrated. It doesn't, it just, it's taking up a lot of energy and space, and like the, even the fact that I'm talking about it right now and I'm gonna make this my longest answer means that it's overrated, but I also love it. But I'm willing to embrace something that's overrated and I'll, I'll drink it every day for the rest of my life. Oatly, please send me free oat milk. Here's my address, it's one. That's underrated because I'm pigeon-toed. <laughs> okay, so when I was a kid, I, 
had to wear leg braces because they were like, I'm sure this doesn't exist anymore. I was born in 1910. And, um, you know, they, your feet are like this, and they put braces on. And I, for a while, I couldn't walk. I just pulled myself around my upper body. I have great upper body strength. I mean, you should see these guns. But after that, I had to wear a shoe with a bar in it. Now, this, these are not attractive shoes. You know, a, a lot of people, when you have a shoe, you don't want anything in between except the ground. So, but I had a bar. Um, but it's underrated because, look at me now. Pigeon-toed and proud of it, okay? Let's embrace it. I don't need a hashtag. I, I just need some respect. <laughs>